So this morning we are off to Horsenden Hill where there's a colony of great crested newts, one of our biggest and rarest amphibians. Uh, they're protected by law. There's a few ponds on Horsenden Hill that have uh, breeding newts in, uh, but they're getting very overgrown, even less deep water suitable for the newts to breed. So Ealing Wildlife Group and the ranger team at Ealing are meeting up this morning to clear some of those ponds and create some dead uh, brush piles and uh, log piles as new habitats outside the pond but also improve the ponds and open up some of the water for breeding. We're unlikely to see any grey crested newts today because it's still very early in the season, early February um, and it's important we do it today so that when the newts return to the ponds for breeding uh, they have better success. We don't want to do it too late and disturb the newts because as I say they are a protected species so um, you need to be very careful and uh, you need a license to handle them. So hopefully in a couple of months uh, we might be able to see get some footage of uh, the newts in all their breeding finery. They are an absolutely spectacular looking um, amphibian. The males have this uh, jagged crest along the back, uh, beautiful black in colour with lots of little white spots and a vivid orange and black belly. And the males have a little uh, white stripe down the tail as well. They use that to sort of display to the female when they're uh, courting her in the water. Apparently it is uh, quite the sight. We won't see it today, but hopefully in a couple of months they will benefit from the pond work we are doing today. In February time, Ealing Wildlife Group went to Horsenden Hill for a volunteer task day where we did some habitat conservation work improving some ponds for great crested newt conservation. And I talked about great crested newts being one of our most threatened and largest amphibians. And tonight we are very lucky, myself, one of the park Turn rangers. Turn left and a professional ecologist who's a member of Ealing Wildlife Group who is a licensed Great Crested Newt surveyor because you need to have a license to handle them, to survey them or to um, do anything that might disturb them in any way. But it's important that we survey these ponds and make sure we first of all establish that Great Crested Newts are present and then hopefully year on year uh, we can kind of do some counts and things and keep track of how many of them are there and are they responding positively to our conservation efforts and habitat management so that we can protect them for the future. We don't want to lose them.
Sorry? Yeah. Video or film? Video, or yeah. Film. yeah. Two male smooths here. There were two here kind of frolicking. Uh, and there might be there's something quite substantial moving under there. I think so, yeah. And mm -hmm. There's a faint bit of white flash there yeah, that's I'm central. Sure. It's on the female, it's just um, like a bit of the orange underneath normally, low yeah. down. I, and you can I, see the crest is um, folded over on his back, can't you? Yes. Just yeah. there, yeah, because he's not in the water. I'd say, actually, that's not the, not the biggest or brightest male either, so I wonder if that's... It's not. Uh, it's not at its its peak. It's still a relatively young one. Juvenile. -ish, yeah. So it's How long does it take? Two or three years for them to reach about such about, maturity. Yeah, about yeah. three. Same as frogs and yeah. birds. Yeah. So is he just probably heading to a pond? I would think so. Yeah. Yeah. Adult male like would be a bit bigger than that, wouldn't he? Chunkier. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> He's feeding. You know, up. something's yeah. up now. Leave him to just put him just down the here. To yeah. Go off the path. Yeah. yeah. He's like, I don't like these warm hands. I'm going up and down. That's cool. <laughs> 